Restore dull furniture finishes. Furniture brings color and shape to your homes. It gives not only definition but also an inkling of your personality. Some furniture has bright colors while some has lighter shades. Other furniture reflects happiness while some reflects sadness. It may mirror your emotions and mood or simply echo your sense of style. Furniture and fixtures commonly found inside homes can bring life to your everyday scene. It varies in shapes and sizes. It comes in many different designs of your liking. But like any other furnishings, furniture gets old and dull in the course of time. When that happens, you need to learn how to restore your dull furniture finishes. Prepare your work area. Get your work area ready by placing a drop cloth or old newspapers underneath the dull furniture you will be working on. By doing this, your floor will be protected from unnecessary stains and marks. Ensure that you also have good ventilation. Since you will be using some paint and other chemical ingredients in the process, you will need to have open space for breathing. If you will be having the work done inside your house, make sure to keep your windows open to avoid getting accumulated in your work area and to avoid suffocation. Get your safety gear. Have your safety gear at all times to protect yourself from the fumes and other chemical ingredients in the process. Make sure to put on gloves to avoid skin contact on any of your materials to be used. Keep your eyes protected as well by wearing goggles. This is a precaution to avoid anything getting in your eyes as they are quite sensitive even with fumes. Getting some work done. To get the process of restoring your dull furniture started, you will need to get a paint brush ready and apply a semi-paste stripper. Thinly apply the semi-paste stripper onto your furniture. Use a putty knife while you gently scrape the furniture's surface. You need to allow it to dry two or three minutes before you start scraping the surface. By this time the old finish will come off with the knife as you scrape it. Neutralizing your chemical components. The next thing you need to apply is the lacquer thinner. Use a clean and soft cloth to pour the thinner to then apply it to stripped segment of your furniture. This will serve as a neutralizer from the semi-paste stripper previously applied. Identifying water marks and stains. After neutralizing the previous applications next would be identifying any water marks and stains. Should you find some make sure to use water and paint oxalic acid solution applied onto the water mark. Let it settle and soak in until it you see a powdery residue become evident on the furniture. 
Get a clean sponge soaked in water then gently wipe the furniture's surface clean. Let it sit and dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. Sandpaper and Surface With the use of a 150 grit sandpaper begin to sand your furniture. This will give your furniture an even surface. Then use a gel wood stain by applying it with a paint brush. Do not rinse or wipe it clean right away. Let the stain soak for a few minutes into the wood surface. You may then wipe it clean but afterwards let it dry for a good 24 hours. Finishing and Coat After letting your furniture dry you may start applying your finishing top coat. You may refer to the instructions on the label along with the material you purchase. This will be your final step in restoring your dull furniture finish. It will give your furniture that new eye-catching appeal and it will blend even better in your home. As time takes away good exterior and fabulous finishing always ensure that when that day comes you have the material, means and know how to bring back your dull furniture finish to its great top coat.